Good morning. Uh, today, I'm going to share with you how to experience the wonder of God's favor written in Isaiah chapter 49 from verse 8 to 13. Uh, I'm airing through the Zoom program for the first time. Uh, I'm not familiar with using this program, so I'll do my best, pray for me. Uh, today, I'm going to put emphasis on the deeper meaning of wonder of God, wonderful, the salvation of God, wonder. In what sense, the word wonder we must understand. And the Hebrew, ancient Hebrew picture letter, is going to show us the concrete meaning of wonder, wonderful counselor. Uh, here, Isaiah 49, chapter 49, it is written, in an acceptable time, I have heard you. I have heard you means I have heard your prayer. So I wish you to accept, I wish you to experience the accepting your prayer to God. And then when God accepts your prayer, then you're going to experience salvation of God. Because God promised, I will preserve you, meaning I'm going to be saved from the death. Now we are passing through the valley of the shadow of death by condemning uh, pandemic situation. So we experience through, uh, by listening inspired message, in other words, wonderful message of God, and we pray, get the answer of prayer. So uh, we must listen the word of the Lord first, or head up to get the answer of prayer. As we are blessed so much by listening the message of the word, then uh, automatically we begin to pray to God. And then finally we get answer of our prayer so in that way, we experience the wonder of God's favor on us. Uh, okay, wonderful, the meaning wonderful in Hebrew, Pele. By listening to the message of wonderful counsel of Jesus. So in what sense being wonderful? It is the faith supplying word. So as you listen to wonderful message, then we are having the faith in the Bible or faith in God, faith in the name of Jesus Christ. So Pele, so Hebrew sound Pele, uh, we are familiar with this uh, name Pele, the famous the soccer player in Brazil. So, uh, Wonderful, that's where it has an abstract meaning, but according to picture letter, it shows uh, some concrete nuance. Pe, yeah, this is pe, 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 mouth. Pe means mouth, it's a picture of mouth. Pe, or, uh, if it is a verb, speak, or eat, or giving a kiss, uh, that's the way of interpretation. So then they hear in this pele, the, the, the alphabet pe doubled, doubled means the meaning is the multiplied, meaning is augmented. So if it is speak, speak, speak means speak eloquently or speak effectively. If it is kiss, kiss and kiss means uh, gave us much kiss. So, we may experience loving feeling of God. And then kiss, it is divine kiss. God gave us kiss, much kiss, hot kiss to whom? Lamet. So, uh, Lamet is a shape of, staff of shepherd. So God gives much kiss to whom? Shepherd, shepherd of Jesus, or pastors, minister, church ministers or preachers, the Lamed. And then final alphabet, Alep. So Lamed, 
Steph Shepherd, what kind of step Shepherd? Powerful, like ox head. Ox head, the simple meaning ox head is a powerful leader. So uh, God gives much kiss so that we may become powerful church leader. So in, in this way, we can interpret. Uh, look at the picture. The Jesus okay, talking with Samaritan woman. And then as Samaritan woman listened to the message of Jesus, uh, she was motivated and then she began to have faith in Jesus and she recognized Jesus is Messiah. So uh, that's the wonderful preaching. So we pastors or pastor candidate must desire to become an effective speaker, eloquent speaker, so that anyone who listened to our message may have faith in Jesus Christ so that uh, they may be saved. That's the meaning of Pele, wonderful, okay? Eloquent, effective speaking of the uh, shepherd who is powerful church leader. So as we are empowered with the Holy Spirit, we can become this kind of uh, shepherd or pastor. Okay, next time, this pele that comes from the verb form originally, pala, pala. Pala means is to make a distinction, to make distinction between A and B. So our speech must be uh, different from uh, another speakers. So as we are uh, favored by God, that we God shows us sure distinction. So uh, in one sense, the God give us a distinction from another people, okay? Uh, let's go back, the picture letter, mouth, mouth, and then uh, shepherd stuff. And then uh, this is the, the final alphabet. Hey, it is a appearing of God, like a wind, appearing of God. So moving spirit of God, it is, uh, express theophanies, appearance of God or, or spirit of God. So this is interpretation. Uh, when God the make us distinctive, when God put distinction between me from another, uh, God uh, put distinction in this way. According to this picture letter, number one, God gave much kiss, kiss and kiss, much loving kiss, or kissing a blessing to shepherd. To shepherd means to pastors and church leaders who is in the spirit of God, or who is filled with the spirit of God. Uh, that's the nuance. Number two, so uh, God poured out much love. God poured out much love uh, with much kiss, loving kiss, so that we pastors, as the candidate, we preachers may become the shepherd who is with the spirit of God. So uh, this is another interpretation. So double pair reminds us of Pasach, Passover feast, during Passover feast, the angel of the Lord gave the, his people much kiss. That's the meaning of Pasach. Okay. Uh, look at this picture. This is a date palm tree. They grow straight and become fruitful. Became the straight means the walk with the Lord and then make righteous life, straight life toward God. And then God bless us to bear much fruit. And then date, uh, this is date fruit. The Fruit of the date palm is very sweet. It is called in Hebrew debash, honey. Honey, this debash is just the same of the honeycomb, honeybee. Honey from honeybee also called debash. And this date palm also juice was called debash. So uh, who can become a faithful servant of the Lord? The one who experiences sweetness of God. 
divine sweetness. As we listen to the word of the Lord, as we pray to God, then every moment we experience heavenly sweetness, sweet favor. Uh, because of that, and then we are willing to devote my life to God and uh, participate in the ministry of God. Uh, that's the meaning of wonder, pala. Okay, next. Whenever Jews have the Passover worship at the beginning part, they read the Song of Song. Song of Song, chapter 1, verse 1. Let him, let God kiss me with the kisses of his mouth, for your love is more delightful than wine. So love of God, special love of God, with the wonderful love of God compared to human kiss. So the Hebrew people, yes, look at this picture. They give kiss to the scripture. Even children, they are learned to give kiss before uh, open the Bible. So the, uh, the, the way of kissing, the habit of kissing is to express love. Okay, so the relationship between God and us is like a, a loving ones. And then Jesus Christ is our the counselor, wonderful counselor. In one sense, Jesus named the counselor. Counselor that we imagine uh, whenever we have problem, we ask someone to counsel me. Uh, so, but uh, in here, what's the meaning of counselor? How Jesus becomes counselor? Okay, pay attention. Yod, Vav, Ein, and Tade. So Yod, Yod, okay, arm and hand. Stretch out uh, your hands and arm to hug something, okay? Embrace something. And Vav, this is Vav. It's a shape of the tent pack. If it is a verb, put up the tent. Okay, the round one, ein, eyes, and then footprints of moving animal, chade. If you plus ein and chade, it, it, is, it becomes etch. In Hebrew language, etch meaning tree of life. So counselor means you you stretch out both hands and then you pitch up the tent or you hold, embrace, tree of life. Uh, this is the meaning of counselor. Who is the counselor? According to the ancient Hebrew picture letter, the one who hugging, tree of life. It's a tree of life. Uh, it's a tree of life. Whoa, whoa. What is your understanding of tree of life? What could be the definition of tree of life? Something good, okay? As you have embraced the tree of life, the, you are a wonderful one. So interpretation, the one who dwells under the holy tree, the, you are holy man, you are prophet. Because in the Bible, Abraham, Abraham always pitch of his tent under the big oak tree. Deborah also used to sit and dwell under the big the, the palm tree. Nathanael also. While Latana was uh, sitting down under the uh, leafy fig tree, Jesus recognized him. Jesus knew that he is a true Israelite. So what we must in, uh, understand, what we must imagine, the concept of the tree, tree of life. So naturally, it provides cool place for us. So cool place, it's good for reading Bible and having prayer. Of course, it is good to take a nap under the cool tree uh, during hot summer time. Okay, this oak tree, the right one, that's the old one. It, it is famous in Israel. It is famous. Uh, under this oak tree, Abraham, uh, pitch up tent, Abraham built up the altar to worship God. And then when this oak tree was young, it is very leafy and green. Uh, today, this old oak tree of Abraham uh, still surviving, but only one branch is producing green leaves. All other branches are withered 
they dried up already because it's too old. Okay, Judges 4, 5. And she, she means Deborah, prophetess Deborah, dwelt sitting under the palm tree of Deborah between Ramah and Bethel in Mount Ephraim. And the children of Israel came up to her for judgment. Okay, it's very symbolic. A man of God, prophetess, uh, loved to dwell under the big tree. And for Deborah, this is uh, the tree of life. And then uh, it is fig tree, okay, fig tree. Fig, fig tree in dry season uh, provide us as a cool shade. Then okay? Gospel of John 1, 84, it is written, Nathanael said to him, how do you know me? Jesus answered and said to him, before Philip called you, I saw you under the fig tree. Nathanael answered him, Rabbi, you are the son of God. Okay, uh, this leafy, this leafy fig tree. If it is younger one, the branches, branches stoop down and then touch the ground. So as you enter into the shade, the passerby cannot notice you, cannot look at you because you are covered by the the touching down branches. So it means it provides cool the shelter and then it is good for praying, good for reading Bible, good for meditation. So it means Nathanael was seeking the favor of God through his prayer, through his time of meditation. And then Jesus looked at him while he was praying to God. This is a spiritual secret. Whenever we are praying to God, God is watching over us. Amen. Now we are learning about the concept of tree of life. Tree of life, okay, we get, we get the new life by approaching tree of life or by eating the fruit of tree of life. But uh, in the book of Proverbs, we find the definition of the concept of tree of life. Proverbs 13, 12 and the Proverbs 15, 4. Okay, Proverbs 13, 12, hope deferred or hope delayed makes the heart sick, but the desire fulfilled. Desire fulfilled is a tree of life. What's the meaning of desire fulfilled? It's a getting answer of prayer. Desire fulfilled by the grace of God. Desired fulfilled. Desire fulfilled means get the answer of prayer is a tree of life. So any moment uh, you get answer of your prayer, where any any moment you experience getting answer of your prayer, it's amazing, it's wonderful, it makes you very happy. That's the moment you enjoy eating the fruit of tree of life. Okay, that's the meaning of tree of life. Do you get answer of your prayer from time to time? Then you are the one who are living. You are the one who are really uh, favored by God because you are granted to eat, eating the fruit of tree of life. Okay, Proverbs 15, 4. A healing tongue. A healing tongue is a tree of life. Healing tongue. Tongue is interchangeable with speech, word, or preaching gospel. Healing tongue. Okay, we pastors, uh, must have a healing tongue, healing speech, healing preaching. Huh? So healing tongue is a tree of life. This is a tree of life. Whenever preacher, whenever church minister deliver the message of God, inspired message of God, that's the tree of life. That's the tree of life. So uh, preaching the message is very much important Leading Bible study is very much important. That's the tree of life. As the listener, as the student, as church member, listen to the message and understand and have a faith in Jesus, have a faith in the promise of God. And then they are motivated to have faith in the promise of God. They begin to pray. And they are supposed to experience getting answer of prayer. Yeah. 
That's the tree of life. Tree of life. Who is wonderful counselor? Jesus Christ, of course. Then who must be a wonderful counselor? We, his disciples, must become a wonderful counselor. Who is very effective in preaching? Who is supplying heavenly faith in Jesus Christ? That's the tree of life. So we pastors, we Christian leaders, uh, tree of life ministers. So may God use you wonderfully. So, so I wish you to make more people to eat the fruit of tree of life. Amen. God bless you and I love you.